Oregon Secretary of State Dennis Richardson lies in state in the rotunda of the state capitol before his state funeral later this afternoon. He died after his battle with brain cancer last week. Elise Haas is in Salem to tell us more about the services today. Elise. Yes, Ken and Jenny. Richardson lies here at the state capitol this morning until 2 o'clock this afternoon. This is a time when people can come by and honor him. And since I've been here, I've gotten the chance to speak with his staff, and it is clear that he is well loved and will be greatly missed. In harmonious unity, servicemen carry the late Secretary of State Dennis Richardson to the steps of the state capitol Wednesday morning. As his battle with cancer came to a close, this marks his last visit to the Capitol before he's laid to rest. The fragrance of flowers fills the Capitol rotunda as his casket sits center stage beneath the Star Spangled Banner, allowing the public to pay their respects. Of all the politicians I've met and worked with, not one can compare to him in honesty, integrity, just kindness. Chief of Staff for the Office of the Secretary of State, Deborah Royal, worked alongside Richardson for years. She told stories of how he always went above and beyond his line of duty because he found great joy in serving. He just rolls his sleeves up and does does anything that it takes, and his kindness is has no bounds. From his service in Vietnam as a combat helicopter pilot to his 19 years in public service, his staff says he was fiercely dedicated to accomplishing the work the people of Oregon elected him to do. I think that the most important thing that he's done is that he has uh, opened up the audits division and has shown a light on a lot of the things in the state that needed to have some sunlight put on them. She says he cared for Oregonians, especially children in the education system and foster care system. And of course, he watched out for his own. He was 69 and leaves behind nine children and his wife, Kathy. He wants people to remember that people are important Politics is not, and that the only thing that is eternal is love. And those who know him best say his legacy will live on through his grace. And his family held a private funeral service for him on Monday. That's where his children sang, his granddaughter sang. Old friends told stories of him, and folks tell me that it was just a lot of fun, which Richardson would have loved. And then today, the state funeral service will take place at 2 o'clock here at the Capitol in the House of Representatives chamber. We're going to be streaming that entire service at coin.com. For now, reporting live in Salem, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Yeah, very accomplished man. Okay, thank you, Elise, for that. And stay with Coin 6 for continued coverage of Dennis Richardson's funeral. The services start this afternoon, and they will end with military honor. We'll bring you the latest on Coin6 News at 4, and you can follow along as we live stream it all on coin.com.